Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do like some nail prep. I'm getting ready to do some more manicures on the hands. I've already gotten this hand ready. But I wanted to go through the steps again. I've done this before um, in previous videos, but I figured, you know, maybe it's time to do it again. So these are the tools I'll be using. Now I've used an old Sush Feet or Sush Clear um, bottle that I've cleaned out and I've put in my cuticle remover and I've labeled it. Now this is the Blue Cross cuticle remover that you can get from Sally's and I love using it like this, you know, using a brush. He's just brushing it on. So we're going to get to that here in a second. The other major tools I use is a cuticle pusher. I personally love this bent one. I don't know, it just seems to me easier for me. And, um, and here is my curette. Now, um, I do believe I have a link for this down below in the description box. Um, I get asked every time I do this, what is that and where do you get it? And I got mine online. Um, you might be able to find them at Sally's, but it's got a big cupped in on this end and a little bitty cupped in on this end. And this works really good for getting up and around that cuticle area. And um, so I'm going to walk you through it. Now, most of the time when I'm doing my cuticle, like a regular week, I don't do all this. I don't use this. I don't use um, these tools. I use my Germanicure, and this is my little tool from there. And this is what I normally use to go around my cuticles and clean up. And it's got a, like a cuticle pusher end on it, and I'll do that too. That's what I normally do on a normal weekly basis. But every two to three weeks... I do what I'm fixing to show you today. I'm fixing to, because you know that's how a southerners talk. I do always keep my little cuticle nippers out in case I have any little bitty bits of stuff that I need to get, because I do trim this on the sides. It gets really hard. I deal with a lot of paper. I have a lot of issues with hardening of this, this area of my nails, and I'll just trim that out too. I do not ever trim up here though ever. I might file it and I might use a cuticle pusher and this curette tool but I don't trim it, trim it. So let's just hop right on in. The way I like to do it is I load up my brush and I cover the entire nail and cuticle with the cuticle remover. And I do that to all of my nails at one time. And it's not good to leave this stuff on your nails and skin for very long. But I normally work pretty quickly and I have never noticed any, you know, bad effects from doing it this way. And once I've done all of them, I normally come back to the first one and apply more. And then I break out my cuticle pusher and I get that going. And I'm always amazed at the gunk that comes up. Look at that. It just amazes me how much gunk pops up off the nail. I mean, that's just disgusting. So I'll wipe that off. And then I like to run it like this way because I do get quite a bit of staining from polishes on my nail. And this helps remove all that residual product that is still stuck on the nail because believe me, there's still something stuck there. And then I get that off. And I don't know if you can tell from this nail to the one beside it how much staining gets cleaned up. I'm going to have before and after pictures for this. And then I get my curette and I go up the side around my cuticle area, up under that skin right there, and then down the other side. Because I like to get that skin too with my little curette. And I just go around it until I'm happy with it. I normally use just the bigger end, but if you're trying to get into a little spot, you've got a smaller end that you can also use. And you just kind of do it in like a little bit of a circular motion around that cuticle area. And then I kind of run it up along that skin at the top. Now, I'm going to wipe that off so you can see. So it does a pretty good job you know, pretty happy with it. And so we're going to head on to the next nail. And I'm trying to not drag this out. I'm trying to be like I was doing it if I wasn't talking, but you guys know that when I talk, I slow down. 
So I'm just pushing that cuticle back. And I'm not being extremely forceful. I know it looks like it. It's because it's a metal tool. I'm not pushing down like extremely hard or anything. And I'm not going to get all of the staining off, but I'm going to get most of it. And that's that'll make me happy. Make them look a little better. Now, if I was doing a French manicure after this, I would probably spend a little bit more time on this and try to get more of the yellowing off, but I'm just not planning on doing a French manicure today, so we'll be able to just carry on. And these tools are washable. I wash them off and clean them up after every use. I only use them on me. I don't use these on anybody else. Um, if a friend comes over and they're wanting their nails done, I use an orange wood stick that has a cuticle end to it, and I just do that for their nails and then just chunk it, you know, or let them take it home if they want it. Because um, I normally buy those orange wood sticks in pretty big packs. So there we go, we got another nail clean. There we go, looking better already. Uh, I really do enjoy this part of the manicure. I know a lot of people don't have time for this or don't have the patience for it, but you know, it, once, twice a month, I really like getting this like deep clean, getting getting that all cleaned up and nice looking. <laughs> I'm going to go down the other end of the nail. And I do kind of rest my nail on the table so that I'm not pushing, you know, against that free edge. And you can see a lot of stuff comes off of this. It's just amazing to me. I'm always amazed. I'm like, whoa. Because I thought my nails were clean. I mean, I've even done sugar scrub and, and everything else. And that stuff is still on there. I just go around the edge, go on that skin. Now, to clean out this thing, you can use like a toothpick, or I've got like a little pokey end on my cuticle cleaner, and you can just kind of scrape that out. And I normally do that before I wash it, um, you know, to get the big stuff out of there and out of my way. Let me go across that skin. I always love the way the cuticles look after they're all cleaned up and pushed back just makes me happy. It's the little things, isn't it? <laughs> so here we go. We're going to get this last one done. And then I'm going to go wash my hands. You want to make sure to wash this product off of your hands and nails and skin as soon as you can. I mean, I think the instructions say to leave it for just a few seconds before you do it. And I know it's been longer than a few seconds, but like I said, I've, this is how I've done it since I started using this product, and I've never had any issues with it. Now, I might, if I did it more often, I might would have issues, but I don't know that I'm there. So, I'm going to get around this cuticle, up that side wall, around the cuticle, and down the other side wall. And it just, if you do it, you know, on a regular basis, it just, it's easy, it gets easier and easier to do. I know when I first started doing mine, they were just a hot mess every time. I mean, just like a wreck. So, okay, let me go clean these off and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. I have used the sugar scrub and a nail brush across these and under these. Now, another thing I, I forgot to mention is the other thing I love about this tool is if you've got stuff, you know, funky up under your nail, you can get up under here with it and kind of get some of that funk out from under there. I've had staining under there too, whether it be from, you know, other arts and craft projects or cooking or just whatever. And, you know, with that little bitty end, you can really get up under there, you know, up into the sides and get that all cleaned out too. So that's another great thing about this. Now, I don't get paid for this. Uh, this was never sent for review. I bought this, <laughs> but I love it. And I love to share my most loved tools with you guys. So that is it for the nail and prep. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is um, 
do some more, you know, cuticle trimming or not cuticle, but you know, that hard skin around the tips of my nails. And then we're going to hop on into another manicure that I will also be sharing with you. <laughs> so that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know about your nail care routine and, um, maybe I, I could learn something from you too. So I love that we all share and, uh, you know, pass on suggestions and ideas and, all that. So I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.